Good morning. It is Wednesday and I am in work. Well, I'm not in work. I'm in my car, in the car park. Uh, I start at 8.30 and I left at my usual time. I haven't turned my watch on yet. Uh, what is the time? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's 10 to 8. I don't start till 8.30. The traffic was brilliant because, of course, it's the school holidays. So I've got plenty of time to get in and get set up and get started because I've got a feeling I'm going to have a lot of things to catch up on after a whole two weeks off. Uh, yeah, so I'm feeling, I don't normally feel anxious going back to work after time off, but I do. I feel like, oh, I'm just worried. I just hope that it's not going to be too much. Uh, I woke up early, uh, but I slept well. So this is all very boring. <laughs> then none of my, I had a huge equipment failure this morning as well. I seem to be missing a load of stuff. So I have my little pouch, my little craft house magic pouch. This was a gift ages ago from a lovely viewer called Paula. And she sent it to me from Ellie. And I use it to keep all of my batteries and little accessories in. So I've got my little thing that goes on my microphone to stop the wind noise and I've got spare batteries and things and in here I keep my attachment that lets me put my GoPro on to my little holder in the car so I can film things as I'm driving but it's not in here it's completely disappeared I've also lost both of my spare GoPro batteries then nowhere where they're supposed to be so I'm going to have to do a really good emptying of bags and things when I get home tonight and try and work out how on earth I've misplaced something that I always put in a specific place. It's so frustrating and annoying. I'm really good at everything having its place. So then when I lose things, I get extra annoyed with myself. So that's why you've got just straight into me chatting and no sort of footage of the rainy drive here. Okay, I'm going to go in to the museum and get myself set up, see what's awaiting me, make myself a cup of tea and get started on my work day. There are gremlins at work, not at work, as in at mischief around me. I just arrived at work, I couldn't open the front door. I had to go and get one of the hospital porters to get the master key to let me in. It wasn't my little key, it was the big old fashioned key. It was really weird. And it took about three attempts to get the master key to work as well. Something is amiss. Anyway, I'm in now. I have a card on my desk. Why have I got a card on my desk? Oh, it's someone, oh, someone who uh, had a visit here. Part of my job is to just book groups in. I don't, you know, it's not... I don't feel like it's a huge life-changing thing. That's so nice. That's so nice that they've sent me a card. I feel valued. <laughs> Apologies for the sound and the picture I'm filming on my phone. I just can't believe it. I'm in the woods and this is a, a bluebell wood. It's absolutely carpeted in bluebells, usually towards the end of April, but they're coming out already. There's little patches of purple and I can actually smell them. So we might get a good little bit of bluebell wood footage later in the month which will be exciting. You see they're all coming out here, all the way up there, some along here. They'll probably be out in the next week or so. Lots of wooden enemies as well. Oh dear. I want my walking trainers.
So as well as waterlogged grass, now wet feet and muddy shoes and early bluebells and doors that don't work, various other things that have gone on and the mud mire ahead of me. It's now raining when it wasn't supposed to. So the gremlins are really on to me today. And you probably can't hear me because it's probably too windy. Oh, how am I supposed to do this? Oh. It's really slippery, isn't it? I'm going to end up in it, aren't I? <laughs> I'm home after my weird day where everything has gone wrong. And it's been there's been drama here as well. Not with us, no. I might add. One of our neighbours had their cars stolen last night. Mm -hmm. Um well I remember Dan. Song of the day for today, please. I didn't. I haven't done your one that you talked about. Oh well, it was easy. This um, um, "Stay with Me" by the Faces. A bit of nineteen sixties, nineteen seventies rock. "Stay with Me" by the Faces. That's the song of today. Now I'm going to go upstairs and catch you up. Phoebe is hoovering in her bedroom. Or even if she. Okay, so I'm home. It has been a day and I am tired. We're having pasta bake for dinner, Dan's cooking it. He always cooks on a Wednesday because I'm out of the house all day and Fridays because he does pizzas. Friday night is pizza night. I've just realised that I need to film a podcast tomorrow because it's due up this weekend. And when I say podcast, I mean a knitting and crochet podcast for my knitting and crochet channel. Uh, but I've made no notes and done no planning, so I'm wondering if I could just get up and film a podcast with no notes and just wing it. That might be quite entertaining. I'm not sure what to do about that just yet. And then I remembered also that I have had a lovely gift. My friend uh, Dominique, who is one half of the Wall is the Answer podcast, uh, I met up with her for the very first time in person at the East Anglia Yarn Festival. And she um, has, and this is not the first time she's done this, she has given me a little advent, a little birthday advent, so uh, a little gift bag of parcels to open every day in a run up to my birthday. Now I'm not going to open them every day on screen because I'm, I'm going to save them for just for myself but I might share with them with you every now and then. That said I've left the first day downstairs and I forgot to open the second day yesterday and I'm about to open day three so I thought I might open these with you. I've also got something exciting in the post. I'm pretty sure that this is my Green Lumpkin yarn Blanket Club yarns for March. So let's start with my birthday advent number two. Look how lovely they are. The little hearts, little heart stickers. Recycle the envelopes. Oh, it's a pin. <laughs> Hopelessly devoted to yarn. Oh, who's it by? Joytothewall.com hopelessly devoted to yarn that is so good oh, I'm gonna have to think what project bag to put that on I could put it on my one that I had out yesterday couldn't I it would be perfect on there oh let's do that now <laughs> I love that oh thank you Dominique that's gonna oh that's really made me smile oh and I've got another one haven't I tic tac what could it be? Oh, oh, it's tea. Ah, oh, this is from one of my favourite tea makers, the Proper Tea Company. They are from, they're a tea making company, an independent tea company from East Sussex. Spiced apple Viennese fruit tea. Oh, that sounds like just my cup of tea. Oh, oh, I've just got a whiff of it already. That smells amazing. 
I'm going to be having a cup of that tonight. It smells like Christmas, to be honest. Oh, have a smell. Doesn't that smell good? Apple, cinnamon, hibiscus, almond, rosehip, elderberries, currants and black currants. Oh, I will be having a cup of that this evening in my bed. Right, let's open this. Yes. So this is the Secret Treasure Box Blanket Club. It's every month this year and it's uh, by Green Lumpkin Yarn, my lovely friend Suzanne. And this will be the March colourway. So by the time this video goes up, and if you're a knitter or a crocheter, it's going to be... Uh, today's the third, so it's going to be the fourth. So if you have not yet got your Green Lampkin Yarn Blanket Club for March, or you haven't opened it, look away now. Cover your eyes. I'm not going to describe them. I'm just going to hold them up to show them. Okay, cover your eyes now. Just make appreciative noises. Oh, it's so lovely. I think that might be my favourite lot so far. Okay, you can look back now. I'm hiding them away. So I think it's going to be... Let's hide them away. I think it's going to be crochet, fruit tea, and an early night for me tonight. Oh. I'm headed back downstairs. It's a couple of hours later. Dan's gone to football. He plays old man football on a Wednesday. Hang on. Let me put this down. Okay, this is going to be absolutely appalling light. Uh, but it is now, well, it's quarter to nine. And I went upstairs and I, I had to uh, sort a few things out for Lilia's party. I had to send a couple of emails. Uh, that, that she's having on Saturday and then I thought I'll oh, sit and uh, do a bit of crochet and watch some YouTube and my my I just, my mind and heart and spirit was just not in it my uh, usual method of a bit of time to relax at that time of day in bed didn't work so I got the bits done I needed to do but I can't seem to quiet my mind so I'm going to make myself a hot milk I never did we had dinner and I was a bit too full up to drink um, any of this lovely tea. So I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow. I just have one more sniff though because it is so lovely. And I was going to have a quick look to see if I had any questions. But then I turned my phone off and forgot. So I'll to do that tomorrow. God, it smells so good. I'm so looking forward to this. Thank you so much for this, Dominique, if you're watching. Uh, so I'm going to make myself a hot meal. It's my favourite tonight time drink. I'm just going to heat it up nice and hot in the microwave and I'm going to have it with one of my special biscuits. Which is the only biscuit I like to have with a hot milk. Okay, I will show you what they are. I'm running low. I've only got that much left. So I'm going to have one of these. These are the McVitie's Caramel Digestives. I love them. They do them in other flavours, but just the original flavour. Russell Russell is what I like. They melt it over the hot milk and they lick the chocolate off. It's the only way to eat them. So I'm going to get my hot milk ready, go and sit through in the living room, uh, watch a bit of telly with the girls. And then I think I'm going to take myself off to bed and read for the rest of the night. I might even take my hot milk up to have whilst I read. Bit of a boring vlog for you today, I'm afraid. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a lot of running around, buying food and things for the party because it's my only day off before them and other such things. And I might, like I say, have to try and film a podcast and just wing it. I'll have to see how that goes, how I'm feeling. And I want to fit a nice long walk in as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow.